In today's story, a Karen tries to rob a kid and then gets arrested. One of my subscribers submitted this story to me on Instagram, and if you have any stories you want to share, you can also submit it to my Instagram. Just shoot me a DM at Keedboy. Anyways, this story is one of the craziest I've ever heard of, and I don't want to spoil too much, but I will just say that the Karen gets some very well-deserved karma. Like the video for the best luck of your life. Subscribe so we can hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And with that all being said and done, sit back, relax, and listen to the story. So for the sake of the video, we're going to call our subscriber by the name Riley. So Riley has detailed that it was a sunny Friday afternoon and they were walking back to their car after some grocery shopping. Their parked car was in this very busy shopping district type of place with a bunch of stores around. Riley had mentioned they usually go grocery shopping at like a Walmart, but instead they went to this other grocery store like near all these other stores. And as they were walking back to their car, they noticed a commotion going on near this candy store called Called Sweet Delights. Now the name of this store isn't actually Sweet Delights, but that's just what we're gonna call it for the sake of this video because we don't want people to know where this person is and stuff like that. Anyway, Sweet Delights was known for its colorful displays of candy jars in the window. I mean, they had everything from like lollipops to the world's largest gummies to like Japanese Kit Kats and all the crazy candies and stuff. It was like one of those candy stores that just had everything. And this store was more made for kids, but I mean, anyone likes candy, right? But still, like a candy store is pretty child friendly and a lot of the candy is geared towards kids. So whenever Riley approached the store and saw a middle aged woman standing over a young boy who looked to be around like eight years old, they were pretty concerned. They saw this boy clutching at a bag of candy and this middle aged woman was trying to take the candy away from the kid. The poor boy looked heartbroken and kept crying out that the candy was theirs and that they had paid for it with their own pocket money. And it was obvious that this lady was trying to steal the candy from the boy and this lady was just sitting there screaming at this kid saying that he was too young for all this sugar saying that this kid couldn't have the candy that he just bought and she was like literally trying to steal it from him now if I saw this I would perhaps think that it was like his mom or something like that but that just wasn't the case this was not his mom trying to take candy away from him this was a random middle-aged woman just trying to steal some random eight-year-old kids candy and our subscriber Ryan noticed that um, as Karen you know kept trying to take this candy she was becoming increasingly aggressive and wasn't going to back down without a fight all right she wanted this candy and she was going to get the candy so as this is escalating Riley has finally decided you know what maybe it's time to intervene maybe it's time to do something and just as they step up and start to approach the Karen two police officers arrived on the scene Riley had seen these police officers earlier in the area driving around and it just so happened that they were at the right place in the right time and they heard the commotion happening and stepped in just as Riley was about to. The officers quickly assessed the situation and asked Karen to explain what was going on and why she was trying to steal candy from this child. Well, Karen tried to explain her side of the story, but it was clear that she had absolutely no valid reason for trying to take candy away from a little kid. I just gotta say, I hate people like this. Now, first of all, I don't know anybody like this who would try to steal candy from a literal kid but like entitled karens like this who are like you can't have sugar you're just a child this is too much sugar for you and you know it's not even their kid it's just a random kid that they go up to and say stuff like this they think that they're the ones in charge they think that they need to put their foot down and put a stop to these sugar eating children it's so ridiculous like it's not her responsibility whatsoever it's none of her business whatsoever what this kid is doing it's not her kid like i've said many times they just think that they own the world and the world revolves around them but it just doesn't and that's where the story gets pretty awesome all right so since the police found out that this karen was trying to steal candy from a random kid who wasn't hers uh, they decided to detain her she was put in handcuffs and they searched her and her purse that she was carrying around with her and um in her purse they found some things you see the nearby stores of this uh little outlet mall near where this grocery store and the candy store were a few of the stores had reported earlier that day that 
they had a few things stolen from some of the stores. And wouldn't you know it, this Karen just so happened to be the person who probably stole most of the stuff. They found a coin purse that was from one of the stores near her, uh, a pair of high-end shoes, a few clothes, articles of clothing, just like little things. And it was exactly what these stores were missing. So they knew that she stole it from there. Anyways, that's like what Riley heard from the police officers. Obviously, details are going to be a little vague. They don't know the actual details thing is though this Karen actually ended up stealing from stores right near where she was trying to steal candy from a kid so yeah the officers read Karen her rights and placed her under arrest for theft right in front of this boy right in front of Riley like it's just such an awesome case of instant karma she is stealing candy from a kid and then police come over and figure out that she wasn't only stealing from a kid but also stealing from stores and she gets arrested honestly she should have been arrested anyways even if she didn't steal stuff but the fact that she's actually gonna like get in some real serious trouble over this pretty epic and obviously this kid was super happy to have their candy back they were thanking the police officer they were all smiling stuff and they couldn't stop thanking the officers for their help um the officers gave the boy you know one of those little police badge stickers and told them that they were a brave young person for standing up for themselves they also took down their name and address and promised to send them a few goodies in the mail as a reward for their bravery so yeah some w cops w kid w riley for witnessing this all and uh you know riley of course felt relieved that justice had been served and felt grateful that they had been able to witness the incident and help in some small way they noted that the location was quite busy and several people had stopped to watch the scene unfold there was a little bit of a crowd around but yeah as riley continued on their way back to their car they just reflected on the incident and couldn't help but feel proud of themselves for doing the right thing they also felt sorry for the boy and hoped that they weren't too traumatized by the experience I i'm sure that that would be pretty traumatizing as a kid i would definitely not forget this situation if i was a kid and you know i grew up i would definitely remember the time that a karen tried to steal candy from me and then got arrested like that's a pretty cool story nonetheless uh, riley was pretty glad that they had been able to play a small role in restoring justice and ensuring that the karen paid for her crimes so yeah uh, i guess the moral of the story is to not steal candy from kids and also don't steal from stores don't commit theft that would be bad anyways subscribe and uh yeah bye